guys, it's me, Stormy, and here's your weekly horoscope for the week of January 29th, heading out of the first month of the year, getting ready to move into February. Keep in mind that January 31st is your last day to take advantage of that subscriber gift and book those appointments. So click in the link down below or come visit me at stormygrace.com so you can get all booked up for that good stuff. And congratulations this week, Catherine Rosado. She was the winner of our weekly giveaway. Now the weekly giveaway I've got going this week is a free time timeline report. All you have to do this week is come on over to the Facebook, like the Facebook page and leave me a comment and you've got a chance to grab that report for absolutely free. If you don't know what the timeline report is, it gives you a detailed list of your transit information, your forecast information coming up for the next year. All right, guys, so this is a good week. We've got a lunar eclipse that's going to be happening this week, and that is actually the star of the show, the star of what's going on this week. Not only is it our full moon for the month, right? We've got this lunar eclipse happening in the sign of Leo, but this is our full moon for the month. So the full moon, whether it's a lunar or not, says that something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. Any full moon wants to bring some culmination to the table, right? It wants to bring some ending to the table. Now, this is not only um, a lunar eclipse, it's a total lunar eclipse, so we're gonna have a blotting out. When we blot out the moon, we have a reset to our emotions, right? So we're definitely gonna be taking a very cool emotional reset as well. So this is a very, very cool time with this super moon eclipse energy happening for us. Now, what I will tell you with us all having this emotional reset, because no one is exempt from a lunar eclipse, okay? It's not really, depending on your chart, a great week to try and get anything done because people are caught up in their emotions. There's stuff going on. Our heads and our hearts have had a reset. So it's not necessarily the best week to try and get anything done. Now, what is good here as we look at it is that um, it does give you the opportunity to um, sleep to rest, to take some downtime if you do need it. But also I think some other things to do is to straighten up your environment. You know what I mean? If, if your space does not make you feel like a champion, this may be a really great time for you to bring that energy up to par as well. Now we do have Mercury moving over here into Aquarius. This is happening also on the 31st. So it's gonna be here for the next two and a half weeks. Now during this time, what happens is that our rate of communication speeds up, right? Aquarius loves to talk. Mercury's all about talking. Aquarius is a very, very friendly energy. So this could be a time where it's not a great time for getting stuff done, but yet here comes all of this communication, right? I would really look into sometime next week. You can maybe set up an appointment this week, set it up for next week, right? But whatever happens, you definitely have more conversation going this week and you will have things over the next two and a half weeks where you're thinking outside of the box or your thinking is a little bit different or maybe that spark of intuition that you've needed kindly come finally comes through where you're like come through genius come through and it finally does and you see a new solution to your problem so i really actually like that for us as we're getting past this week now the end of the week is actually very harmonious because there's a trine here between oh the sun in aquarius and we've got the moon over over here in Libra and this is happening Sunday February 4th so first of all it adds a little bit of interest right because Aquarius is very interesting it is an interesting energy no matter what you do with that it is very interesting but Venus also wants to bring harmony so one of the great things I think could be happening is for some of you who have been trying to do these technological friendship tribe um, updates right or get cool with social media this could be a time where you're maybe seeing something it's like sinking in, you're absorbing it a little bit, or maybe this is the time with this lunar eclipse being in Leo, which is a very brave energy, that you finally have the bravery to step out there, the courage to step out and try to find your way through this social media thing. If you're already in the social media thing, maybe you're trying to find your way around it. You know what I mean? How do you use it differently? How do you interact differently? Maybe you are interacting with a teacher, likely a woman, in technology in some way that maybe you never considered doing before. It's a really cool kind of energy. The only other thing I wanna say about this week, besides being pushed outside of the box, really different, really conversational this week, despite not being a time that I think is great to make huge 
changing business decisions or anything like that. It is a week where I definitely feel like if you've been wanting to get out, if you've been wanting to go and experience something outside of your box, and this includes, you guys, things that are sexual as well, right? Aquarian energy is very sexual. This lunar eclipse energy says, stop not speaking up for what you think is important, right? This lunar eclipse wants you to set some things free. So your self-expression, whether it be sexual, whether it be sensual, whether it be artistic, this is a beautiful time for you to get out and to experience that. And it is also a wonderful time for you if you need it, if your chart dictates it, to stay home, to rest, to explore, to experiment with your own environment and see what genius you have that you can create around that as well. So going to be an interesting week, I think. Um, it's an intense energy that happens because, first of all, this lunar eclipse is visible in some places in the United States, which means it brings an added amount of intensity to the endings that it's bringing. So, going to be an interesting week. Make sure you keep me posted down below on what's happening for you this week. Come over, like the Facebook page, and leave me a comment so you can be in the running for the weekly giveaway. And don't forget to get signed up by January 31st or book your appointments for the subscriber gift. All right, you guys, I love you so much. The horoscopes for February will be up here just shortly, and I will see you next week. Bye, guys.